Hi, and just today we'll learn how to find the wave factor or which is also called as the shape factor in the case of the simple geometries. So here we have our first question. Consider the duct which is shown below and find F22 which means the fraction of the radiation energy emitted by the surface 2 which is falling on the surface 2 itself. If R is the radius and L is the length of the duct. So here we are going to make the use of the reciprocity theorem. So according to the reciprocity theorem, A1 times F12 that is a fraction of the radiation energy emitted by the surface 1 which is falling on the surface 2 is equal to A2 times F21. And here we know that the fraction of the radiation energy emitted by the surface 1 which is falling on the surface 1 is equal to 0 because if these are the radiation which are emitted by the surface 1 they then they will not fall on the surface 1 itself so this is gonna be 0 so we know that according to the principle of conservation or we can call it as summation rule so we know that F11 plus F12 is equal to 1 so as F11 is equal to 0 so F12 is gonna be 1 so if we put this F121 in this equation so we'll get A1 is equal to A2 times F21 so A1 upon A2 is equal to F21 and A1 is 2 times because there are 2 side and this is the radius 2 times the radius times the length of this duct divided by and this is a, a cylinder which is cut 1 fourth means 3 fourth of the cylinder is present so this is 3 fourth times the surface area of cylinder 2 pi r l and we are going to take the surface area because the radiations are limited along the surface area of the geometry so this is f21 so this rl rl2 will get cancelled and our f21 is f21 is 1 over 3 by 4 times pi so our f21 is equal to 0 0.4246 and now according to this summation rule or we can call it as the principle of conservation so we know that f21 plus f22 is equal to 1 so f22 is equal to 1 minus f21 which is 0 0.4246 so this will be equal to 0 0.5753 let's take another example Consider two long thin concentric tubes of circular cross section as shown in the figure. If D1 and D2 are the diameters of the inner and outer tubes, then the view factor F22 is. Then here we note that F11 is equal to 0 because the radiation energy which are emitted by the surface 1 and which are falling on the surface 1 itself will be equal to 0 because the energy is radiated along the surface area of this geometry 1 and now what we are gonna do is according to the summation rule we know that F11 plus F12 is equal to 1 so as F11 is equal to 0 so F12 is equal to 1 then by the making of by the making use of the reciprocity theorem we know that a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 so we know that a1 f12 is unity so a2 f21 so a1 upon a2 is equal to f21 and our a1 will be pi d1l divided by pi d2l these are the surface areas of these two cylinders because the radiation energy is gonna emit along the surface area 
uh, this is equal to f21 so pi we get cancel so we are left with d1 upon d2 is equal to f21 now by the summation rule we know that f12 f21 plus f22 is equal to 1 so f22 is equal to 1 minus f21 which is d1 over d2 so this is our f22 let's take another example So here we have our question. The solid cylinder surface 2 is located at the center of the hollow cylinder surface 1. The diameter of the sphere is 1 meter while the cylinder has uh, the diameter and the length of 0 0.5 meter each. The radiation view factor F11 is. So here we have a solid cylinder. This is a solid cylinder which is surface 2 located at the center of the hollow sphere means this is a hollow sphere which is our surface one and now they have asked us to find the view factor f11 so we know that f21 is equal to 1 because f22 is equal to 0 because the variations are limited along the surface area of this cylinder and as it is a solid uh, this cylinder so f22 is equal to 0 and f21 is equal to 1 according to the summation rule and now by making the use of the reciprocity theorem we know that a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 so our a1 is the area of this hollow spill uh, this sphere sorry this is the area of the hollow sphere so a1 will be our uh, 4 pi r1 square f12 is okay we'll find f12 is equal to area of the solid cylinder will be this is 2 pi r l plus 2 pi r square because here we have two su these surfaces which are gonna emit the radiations and this is f21 is 1 so f12 will be equal to 2 pi r l plus 2 pi r square divided by 4 pi r1 square remember that here we have to take 2 pi r square because this is a solid cylinder this is a solid cylinder so our f12 is equal to 2 into 3.14 into the radius of the cylinder is okay this is 0 0.5 divided by 2 times the length of the cylinder is 0 0.5 plus 2 into 3.14 into r square when this is 0.5 divided by 2 bracket square times 4 into 3.14 into the radius of the sphere is 0.5 square which is gonna be 3 by 8 so f12 is equal to 3 by 8 and by making the use of summation rule we know that f12 plus f22 is equal to 1 but here we need to find f11 so we are not gonna use this equation so we know that f11 plus f12 is equal to 1 because we are need to find f11 so f11 is equal to 1 minus f12 so this is equal to 1 minus 3 by 8 which is 5 by 8 
so let's take another example the space between the two uh, the space between the two hollow concentric spheres of radii 0.1 meter and 0.2 meter is under vacuum exchange of the radiation occurs only between the outer surface s1 of this of the smaller sphere and the inner surface sphere s2 of the larger sphere the fraction of the radiation leaving s2 and reaches s1 is so here we have the two hollow cylinders suppose this is the thickness of the big one and here we have a small hollow spheres these are not cylinders these are spheres okay r1 they have mentioned r1 is equal to 0 0.1 meter and r2 is equal to 0 0.2 meters the exchange means here we have complete vacuum and the exchange of the radiation occurs between the outer surface s1 so this is the outer surface s1 and the inner surface of s2 so this is the inner this is the s2 and this is the s1 and we need to find the fraction of the radiation leaving the s2 and reaching s1 which means we are asked to find f21 so what we are gonna do is first we know that f11 is equal to 0 and therefore f12 will be equal to 1 according to the summation rule and now what we are gonna do is by making the use of the reciprocity theorem so a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 so this is a1 is 4 pi r1 square and f12 is 1 and a2 is equal to 4 pi r2 square and f21 we need to find so this is 4 pi 4 pi will get cancelled and this is 0 0.1 square which is equal to 0. 2 square into x so f21 is equal to 0 0.25 and this is exactly what you want so let's take another example so here we have our question for the, the enclosure formed between two concentric spheres as shown below, R2 is equal to 2 times R1. The fraction of the radiation leaving the surface area A2 that strikes itself means they have asked us to find F22. And suppose if this is our surface 1, this is our surface 2, then what will be F22? Here we know that f11 is equal to 0 because the fraction of the radiations which are emitted by the surface 1 will not strike on itself so we know that f12 is equal to 1 now we are going to make the use of the reciprocity theorem so even f12 is equal to a2 f21 and we know that as these are concentric spheres here we are going to use a1 will be 4 pi r1 square and f12 is 1 this is a2 will be equal to 4 pi r2 square this will be your f21 so this is our 4 pi r1 square is equal to 4 pi our r2 is 2 times r1 so bracket square times f21 so 4 pi 4 pi will get cancelled so here we have r1 square divided by 4 r1 square which is equal to f21 so r1 square will get cancelled and here we have 
1 over 4 is equal to f21 now by making the use of summation rule we know that f21 plus f22 should be equal to 1 so we know that f22 is equal to 1 minus f21 which is equal to 1 minus 1 over 4 so this is 1 minus 1 over 4 which is equal to 0 0.75 so thank you for watching this video